Now, new this morning, a plan to get more Virginians to sign up or renew flood insurance. The governor launching the campaign this week. 10 News reporter Aaron Brookshire joins us live from the Roanoke River Greenway, where we see flooding with any heavy rain. Aaron, a timely announcement for many folks. Yeah, it absolutely is as the Greenway here, but Wasina still remains closed this morning after several days of heavy rain earlier this week. And this flooding comes nearly a year to the day after the rising Dan River put dozens of homes in South Boston completely underwater last April. The flooding nearly broke a crest record for the Dan River in the area, affecting many families that weren't typically impacted by the flooding. That's why the governor Ralph Northam is pushing the goal to have as many people sign up or renew their flood insurance as possible because many people don't realize that flood damage is not included in most homeowner policies. Now, while those who live in a flood zone are often the most likely to have flood insurance, even those who are not in the designated flood zone can be impacted. When Hurricane Matthew hit southeastern Virginia in October 2016, more than 2,000 homes were damaged, many of which were outside of the mapped flood zones and were not covered by insurance. The governor is pushing for a May 1st deadline to buy flood insurance. That way, the insurance is in place by the the start of hurricane season on June 1st. In a statement, he says, quote, flood insurance is a good idea even for those who are outside of established flood zones. As we've seen with recent storms, flooding doesn't always follow a map. Now, for more information on flooding in our area and signing up for flood insurance, just head over to WSLS.com. In Roanoke, I'm Erin Brookshire, 10 News, working for you.